Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The lithography machines of ASML in the Netherlands sell well all over the world, accounting for 80% of the market share in the industry. If it is an EUV lithography machine, the market share reaches 100%. However, ASML's ability to achieve such results largely depends on American technology. When the United States relies on its technological advantages to hinder the free shipment of ASML EUV lithography machines, ASML can only abide by the rules. Not only that, but DUV lithography machines are also restricted. In order to protect its own market interests, ASML has made two consecutive voices to support the Chinese market. Under the restrictions of the US rules, ASML's lithography machine shipments have been affected. So how is ASML's life going? Judging from the first quarter financial report released by ASML, ASML does not seem to be in a mess as imagined, but is doing well. The financial report shows that ASML's net sales in the first quarter of 2023 will be 6.7 billion euros, with a gross profit margin of 50.6% and a net profit of 2 billion euros. In addition, ASML still has orders of 38.9 billion euros waiting to be delivered, and market demand exceeds supply capacity. What is this concept? 38.9 billion euros is equivalent to about 300 billion yuan. Based on the price of one EUV lithography machine, at 1 billion yuan, it means that ASML still has 300 EUV lithography machines to be delivered. If it is a DUV lithography machine with a lower process, the delivery volume will be more. With so many orders waiting to be queued for shipment, ASML expects net sales to grow by more than 25% year-on-year in 2023. Seeing this, many people may be surprised. Isn't ASML restricted by the United States? Isn't TSMC, ASML's largest customer, planning to cut orders by 40% in 2024? Why is ASML still making so much money? Perhaps it is because all countries are entering the chip manufacturing industry. China has set a chip self-sufficiency target of 70%. The United States has provided subsidies of 52 billion US dollars. The European Union has also formulated a chip subsidy bill of 43 billion euros. And Japan and South Korea are all we are increasing the layout of the chip manufacturing industry. So ASML is confident to maintain sales growth. Of course, you can't just look at the surface when looking at the problem. It is true that ASML has a huge order demand, but it is also true that orders for EUV lithography machines have decreased. In the first quarter of this year, ASML's new orders for EUV lithography machines fell by 50% month on month, and TSMC, is also delaying the purchase of EUV lithography machines. The demand of the semiconductor industry is shifting from high-end technology to mature technology. Based on this, ASML needs to focus its sales on DUV lithography machines. China is the main consumer of DUV lithography machines. In order to protect the sales rights in the Chinese market, ASML has made two consecutive voices to support the Chinese market. The first time ASML made a sound was when the Netherlands officially announced 
that it would restrict shipments of DUV lithography machines. At that time, ASML emphasized that not all DUV lithography machines would be restricted. Twinscan NXT, 1980DI, and below equipment can continue to be shipped to meet the needs of China. Customer demand for mature chip manufacturing process. The second time ASML spoke out was against the background of TSMC's order cut by 40%. ASML stated that the demand from other customers has decreased and it can arrange more shipments of lithography machines to China this year. At the same time, Dutch officials pointed out that a large number of old lithography machines are still allowed to be sold to China. The reversal came too fast. From the agreement between the Netherlands and the United States to the official announcement to restrict the shipment of DUV lithography machines, ASML did not expect that ASML would successively release signals that it could do business with China. Even if opportunities for DUV lithography with higher manufacturing processes are limited, other equipment can still be sold to China. There is actually a reason for ASML to please China so much. The needs of the chip industry have begun to transition to mature manufacturing processes. Only a small number of high-end chips produced by TSMC and Samsung can be used. Mature chips can be used in smart cars and microelectronic control units. Internet of Things and smart home devices have a broader demand prospect than high-end chips. Domestic SMIC has four 12-inch fabs under construction, all of which need to purchase lithography machines with mature processes. Therefore, the Chinese market is a very good sales market for ASML's mature process lithography machines. As long as you grasp this market, you can find a long-term and stable source of sales. ASML has stepped up its actions in the Chinese market, and it can also be seen that the Netherlands is playing tricks with the United States. On the surface, the Netherlands and the United States have reached an agreement, but they are actually trying to ship goods. Continue to befriend the Chinese market while adhering to US rules. It is estimated that the Netherlands also understands that China is an important trading partner of the Dutch semiconductor industry and does not want to affect the cooperative relationship by joining the US camp. At that time, China will not buy the lithography machines that can be shipped in the Netherlands and will fully turn to independent research and development to accelerate the replacement of Dutch lithography machines. I can understand the eagerness of the Netherlands and ASML to ship goods. No one will be troubled by money. The Chinese market will remain open and cooperative and provide a good business environment for foreign companies such as ASML. But we must recognize the reality. No matter how good ASML's lithography machine is, it belongs to others. If China wants to avoid falling into the restrictions of rules, it must rely on independent research and development. As long as there are domestic lithography machines as a substitute, no matter what rules Western countries formulate, they can adapt to each other, adapt flexibly, and walk out of their own spacious road.